In this video, I'm showing you how to download Blender for Windows 10 and Mac and then go and install it. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. So I do hope you found this video useful. I'm doing the tutorial on Windows, but it should be fairly similar for Mac. So without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. So the first thing you want to do is simply go and open up a web browser. So personally, I use Google Chrome. So I'm gonna go and open this up here and we're gonna to go to a search engine and I'm using Google. Then all you want to do is simply go and search for Blender. Now when I show you the website, just do continue watching. You wanna to come to blender.org, okay? Click blender.org, it's gonna take you to the site. Now do keep watching even though you do know the website now because I'm showing you the full guide to downloading it and then installing it and then opening it up and getting ready to use it. So I do recommend you keep watching. So once you're on the website, all you want to do is read through this. And as you can see, this is currently the latest version of Blender. This will probably be different when you see this tutorial uh, because they update Blender. But as you can see, it's an open source 3D creation. Let's go and click download Blender. And then it's gonna take you to this page here. And all you want to do is click download Blender. And it shows you it's for the Windows installer. Well, it did say it was for the Windows installer. Um, if we click back, Windows installer, 169 megabytes, and it's now downloading. And if you're on a different version of the OS, as you can see, there is a Mac and Linux option as well. This download will depend on your internet speed, so I'll catch up with you once it's finished. As you can see, the download has just finished. So what we want to do is simply go and click on it, and it's gonna go and start. As you can see, here is the installation wizard. We want to do is run through this, so I'm gonna go and click next. And then you wanna go and make sure you read through this license agreement. So I'm gonna go and read through this and then catch what view you want to have. And once you've read it, make sure you go and accept the terms if you do accept with it. Um, so yeah, make sure you know what you're sort of signing to. Then go and click next and you can go and see this. So as you can see, this is basically telling you the libraries it's gonna go and install and set up. So personally, I'm gonna leave that all how it is and then I'm gonna go and click next. Then as you can see, click install to begin the installation. I click install and here we go. As you can see, it's now installing and this bar is gonna slowly move across as it installs. Now this may take some time, so I'm just gonna wait for this and catch it of you once it goes and gets near the end. Also during this process, I did get a Windows pop-up, a security pop-up, um, which is why my screen did go black. And all I had to do is click yes, and now it's going and starting to install. So just remember that may come up for you. Also terminal did just pop up. I'll try and put a screenshot on what it looked like, but do not worry about that if that does happen. And uh, now I'm gonna go and click finish. So Blender has now installed on my computer. So I can come off this Chrome, and now I'm gonna go and open it. As you can see, it's on my home screen. If this Blender isn't on your home screen, all you want to do is simply come to the search button down here, click there, and type in Blender, and hopefully it's gonna go and pop up for you. As you can see, mine is here, and it's also my desktop. So I'm gonna go and click on it, and then it's gonna go and launch it. Now, it may take some time the first time you launch it, um, because you've this is launching it for the first time. And as you can see, Terminal did just pop up, and now it's going launching and it is gray um, just as it loads. So we'll remember that. And also I'll try and make it a bit smaller in a minute as it spread over my whole screen, resize this. So here we are, as you can see, we have a few settings here for the quick setup. So as you can see, you've got shortcuts. Uh, I want to set up with left and I'll have place bar to play and you can go and choose the dark theme. You can have any theme you'd like. Then I'm gonna go and click next and it just tells you some of the manuals, the websites, etc. And then we can go and get started. So say if you're opening up a file you downloaded, you click open, it's gonna go and bring up your file explorer and then you can go and open up a Blender file or you can go and start with animations. So yeah guys, I hope you do find this video useful. If you do, please go and leave a like down below. Subscribe for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.